Hey everybody, we are here in this week right from the beginning of the Gospel of St. Luke. So let's jump right into it. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. And this is from chapter 1, verses 1 through 4. Since many have undertaken to set down an orderly account of the events that have been fulfilled among us, just as they were handed on to us by those who, from the beginning, were eyewitnesses and servants to the Word, I too after investigating everything carefully from the very first, decided to write an orderly account for you, most excellent Theophilus, so that you may know the truth concerning the things about which you have been instructed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So Luke is an interesting gospel writer. He, uh, fun fact, also wrote the Acts of the Apostles, which takes place after Jesus' resurrection and ascension into heaven, he followed up with the apostles in the start of the church, the early church times. And so he wrote this gospel and the Acts. And um, have you ever read a book where at the beginning the author starts with a dedication like, to my most beloved wife who stood through me while I was writing this manuscript for many dark, long days in the basement, blah, blah, blah. Or to my grade one teacher who pushed me to heights I've never known, etc., etc. Did anybody's grade one teacher ever push them to heights they've never known? I don't know. This is a dedication to a follower of Luke named Theophilus. Now, Luke was a physician, okay, very important station in his time because he was still, like doctors today, very concerned with facts, with details. These were important to his profession even. And as a follower of Jesus, he wanted to apply that same kind of like rigor, okay, fact finding, making sure that everything was detailed and accurate about the life and the story of Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. And so he says to Theophilus, he says, I am going to, just like many others ahead of me, going to write everything down and make sure that it's accurate, okay? This is really helpful for us as believers because so many times you've heard, I know I've heard many, many times over that the Bible is just a collection of random stories that have been translated over and over through time and nobody really knows what they said or how it really happened. Okay, not true. The fact is that the Bible is a collection of very finely curated books that are extremely well-sourced, well-referenced well-researched. And it started with guys like St. Luke, who said, I'm going to make sure I write this all down according to the eyewitnesses. You ever heard of an eyewitness like at an accident or a criminal trial or something like that? Yeah, eyewitnesses are super important, okay, to get the story right. And so Luke is making sure that all these things are touched on, detailed, made sure that they're all accurate, right? So it's just this cool thing as we read into the Gospel of Luke, which you're going to be hearing a bunch of, okay, in this time of ordinary time, that we just can know that Luke was taking great, a great deal of care to make sure that the stories we hear about the life of Jesus are factual, they're accurate, they're complete, all right? So I just, I love that about St. Luke, and uh, I thought you might like to know that too. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're healthy. And I look forward to seeing you guys again real soon. God bless you. I love you guys.